yes good morning and welcome so in this video i'll be uh, showing you how to create this uh from the design to the prototype and probably if you have uh, been around twitter uh, you know that this is how twitter's heart uh works like so you have an heart that is an outline then when you hover it you have that over then you can select so uh, let's design that in figma and maybe if you'd like to see me uh do this with code uh with react or with uh, css you can leave that in the comment below so this is what i did and maybe let's uh, redesign it from scratch so i'll start by creating a frame maybe pick out a, a 500 by 500 frame so in this case i'll create my default uh that's the frame that we, uh the heart that we see first with the stroke the dial stroke so to create the heart i will create uh the two uh two circles that's the herbs tool so i'll create one for so to create one that is a circle you have to hold down the shift key on your keyboard so i'll pick that Maybe make it a stroke and I would want one that is 150 uh, pixels. So put it maybe in the middle here, then uh, duplicate that and put it somewhere here. I think that will work for me. Select them both and try to put them in the middle. Okay. So after that, I'll create maybe a line. So I'll come up here go to the shapes, pick out my line here and i draw the line make sure it is i90 you can change that here to keep it like so we have it at 90 i uh, don't find it's uh with it or height so i place that in the middle there of our uh the intersection of our two circles i think that will work so okay then we can uh, draw out the other two lines uh, to fill out our heart so i'll duplicate this and maybe change this to 45 uh, degrees don't worry it's not a lot of math uh, these are the few angles i'd work with 90 and 45. so let's place that over here so we can duplicate this again yeah, uh, that's Ctrl D on the keyboard um, or Command D for those that are using the Mac. Now let's take it to the other direction. That's uh, negative forty-five uh, degrees. Uh, make sure we place it to intersect uh, the one here below. So it's intersecting this. Will be intersecting the outside. It doesn't have to be that perfect, it doesn't uh, take a lot of time doing this. So pull this a little bit up. Yeah, that will work for me and pull this. I think this is already this is already that good. So uh, let's work with this. So I'll select everything I have here. I maybe flatten it. So go in and flatten it and then we have that one vector with us now that would work with and uh, to create our heart as a, you have already guessed we are going to delete some uh, nodes so let's select it and go into the edit mode let's edit object and we delete the parts that we want and uh, need at least for this part so i'll create a point here at the intersection i will put in a node here that's okay then to accept to escape from the edit mode you can either place the escape key and then uh, choose the move tool that's with either v or come up here and select it so i'll take this part i think we have seen enough of that we don't need you we won't need this we want that then we won't need this so I can create another point uh, down here where they do intersect from. Oh, um, actually we didn't get the center, but that's okay. We shall go with this here. That will work. 
So to escape, you can press V or just switch to the move tool. That's with the V on the keyboard. And delete that. We won't need you, sorry. Not today. We won't need you. So we can create another point here. Um, choose a point at which they intersect. So with my pen tool, that's pretty much it. Then another point where they intersect. Did I get that right? So we won't need the other extensions. I think we won't need this and this. So maybe we have two of them here. I think so they will have to go. And that's okay. I think we want uh, the hat for now. We won't need that too. So here we can also do the same as what we did on the other side of the hat. I did get the intersection and pick out another intersection here. Get around there. And then delete the extras that we want to get. There, uh, I think there we have it. Uh, we have our heart over here. Maybe to center that a little bit. Vertically and horizontally, and that's the hat shape that we managed to create. Maybe uh, the sharp corner here, it's so sharp. Let me reduce uh, its sharpness so I can place on the nodes. You could, if you have a predefined corner radius that you would want, you could just uh, pick it from here. Maybe you want five or any number that you really have. Let me see how five works for me. I think 5 is pretty okay, but let's increase it a little bit in about 8. And 8 is too much, so 7 will definitely do it for us. So that's it for our default hat. Maybe increase the stroke a little bit to something like 2. And then I'll give it some dull color. Not actually a bit too black. I think that would work for now. So this is our default hat. So let's create one uh, when a user or a visitor uh, hovers over our hat. So to do that, I won't be using components today. But in case you need uh, to know something about components, I will also make a video about that probably in the future. So I'll just duplicate this and hit Control R to rename this to hover. You're working at the hover state. Um, when someone hovers, we shall take our color to red and then create uh, that uh, background, uh, background sort of bread that you see. So hit shift, create a circle behind that, and place it behind here. Center this vertical and horizontal. Do that want to work for vertical and horizontal. Put it there, that will be okay. Change the color to something not so reddish and pink. That will work. Maybe take that with so past to 50%. 50% is a good number, 40, 40 would work. And then give it a layer of black just to make sure that the edges are not so sharp. Pick it up to 20. So we don't have those sharp edges. So this would work for our over state. Now the clicked state or selected state. So for this state, we won't need that uh, background uh, layer to circle. And maybe take the fill to red. That's red. And that's it for the design. So we designed the default state, over state, and the click state. Now what's left is to do with the prototyping.
So from the, the inspector panel, I've moved from the design side to the prototype. And in the prototype, I would pick out my head. So when someone hovers on the head, I would move them to this frame. And that's why hovering. And by default, this may be at instant, but I'm, I'm, I'm always using the smart animate. That's why it's uh, my default here. And I'll go with the easy and out. Let's come in first and then slow. You can see the illustration here. And then why, when someone clicks uh, from the hover state, then they will definitely see this clicked state. So still smart animate, uh, easy in and out. 300, um, you can go ahead and change the duration, but I'm okay with that. So for this case, it's when it's clicked. And that's it, maybe for some reason, someone decides to unlike, you take them back to the first, uh, to the first frame, that's the default. So let's play this out and see how it will turn out. So here's what we have managed to work on. When you over, you see that, uh, you see the over frame that we worked on and then, oh, sorry. Then when you click, you get to see that. So that's how you'd like uh, a tweet on Twitter. And speaking of likes, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And maybe we shall work on the thumbs up. But thank you for watching. See you later.